Good morning, everyone. This is Chris for the 365. We are coming into It's windy as always, so if you can't hear me, I'll try to talk up a little bit. You're gonna go through the sun. No, I hate doing that. Skip that over there. Just a great morning out here on the beautiful Caribbean on the Carnival Fascination. see what kind of adventure we can find on beautiful St. Lucia. We don't have any shore excursions. Looks like we're going to freestyle this island. Oh, no, what name? This is where we have three of the Sanders hotels, three Sanders property. Okay. That's where they take the guests to the snow. Oh, okay. So the Sandals owns this. No. No. Yeah, that's even better. That's what we like here. And that is that is the arch that was used in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that what they said? Money? Yes, yes. Part of it. Part of it. And here, I'm gonna. What, what's your name again? Baptiste. Baptiste. Or they, ba they call me Leaf Clean. Leaf Clean. Leaf Clean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Which do you prefer? Well, both of them is the same for me. Okay. Awesome. No, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, we call him that. All right. <laughs> Dang. Thank you. 
maybe maybe on your way out. If you want to give me a little something, no problem. Okay. I'll get some food. Okay. Now, come. come. If you want to take a nice photograph, sir, mm -hmm. you could go that side there. I'm going to get the main thing down there. Okay. Well, Excellent. I want to give you a little explanation. You come closer. <laughs> hey, be careful. Be turn, Not turn, too turn, much closer. Turn, turn in front. I can do a what? back foot. Come, back. Don't do that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. You see, down there, sir. Okay. It's hurricane hall. This where all the yachts come in and sell and shell down after the hurricane. Oh, okay. Now, on top of the hill, there where that roof there. It's a medical just from on the box. It's a send lotion. Okay. Now, on top of the hill there. You have to pay a dollar US to take the ferry to go to the other side of the bay. Okay. And on top of the hill there, you could get a kayak, you could get coffee, you could get, in fact, you could get what you wanted to eat down there, you could get it. Okay. Yeah. And this house on top of the hill there is. This is how You got the grass on the Sophie Lawrence's? Way up there? Uh, wow. I see, I see men like Eddie Murphy every five, okay. six years they're coming down here. Dang. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Why wouldn't you, right? I want to take a picture with you. Okay, here. Together, me and me together. If you have never been on a banana plantation? Never. So that's what, that's what it, it, it's like. I mean, you're right. Okay. No. So they have the bananas are bagged up to make sure insects can't get into them? This is the plant, you plant a banana tree. Right? Okay. Then after, it takes 9 to 12 months for the whole process for only not only 12 months for the whole tree to grow and yeah. the bananas to, yeah, to export wow but you don't have to necessarily plant it every time because right it's its own shoot you know oh okay so first oh. first it sends a flower that's a flower okay okay so every time the flower opens it sends a, a hand of banana okay. until the flower cannot produce anymore okay so it become a bunch after the farmer comes around they flower the banana and then cover it with a bag and every week he'll put a, nail, uh, 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 a different color ribbon on it until exporting. So just like this one, the flower opens oh. and it sends out oh. until oh. it cannot produce any more. Yeah. Ah, okay. So each, so which is, each one is this, different. This is part of the flower, you know? I got you. Every time it opens, it sends out a, a hand of banana. That is so cool. That's very cool. That is really neat. But I did the whole process from planting to yeah. exporting in like nine to twelve months. That's not actually that bad. And they get about that many bananas from a tree? Yes, 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 yes. This is a whole bunch. Go a little closer. That is a bunch of bananas. Literally a bunch of bananas. Very cool. Have you ever been on a banana, a banana farm? No. Well, you can go and touch the banana and let him get your photo. Then come, come along. And just rest your hand on the banana like this. I think I can reach that high. Come, come, come. You can you got, there's lower bananas, folks. Lower bananas? You can reach, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Here. It's just like, oh, and they're like little, tiny. And will they get bigger? Yeah, they get bigger. Well, and those are the kind of bananas that we get in America on our table? In England. 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 So these all go to England. Very cool. Yeah. Well, we were wondering what the pods were. At the yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Baptiste. So also, there's the, the, they also have the banana ketchup, the banana barbecue sauce, the banana rum. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. If you want to sample the banana ketchup, you can sample it. But most people sample it, take it back home, you buy it, and take mm -hmm. it back home. So by chance, when you're back, you want to stop and get some. Yeah. It's a very nice thing. And you use it just like the tomato ketchup, you use it on everything, right? Cool. Kind of like bananas though. Yeah, I love bananas. You like so. bananas, I'm not a banana fan. I am in the small filling village of Anne-Slerie. In St. Lucia, beautiful, beautiful clear water. You can see St. Lucia, we just spent about 15, 20 minutes driving here over some massive mountains and it is an incredible place Anslerie I recommend 
what we did was we negotiated for a taxi, which they took us $25 a person, and they are going to take us all the way out to, oh, what is the name of the city? Uh, I can't remember. All the way out to a small city, which I will film in the next few segments. But it was a very, very, very good deal. I just thought I'd walk you guys out here to the end of this pier so you could see the view that I am seeing. So this is the fishing wharf at Anselerie. Got some cormorants flying overhead. See? I think they're cormorants. As always, if I get anything wrong, folks, just tell me and I'll correct it in the notes. There we go. You too are in the Caribbean with us. There we go. We are pretty much as high as I ever want to get in my entire life. All for to report for the 365. Let's see if we can get a new zip lining next time. Yeah, you guys can have fun with that. You don't want to zip line? I'm sketched out already. He's scared of heights. He's terrified. I am too, bro. I want to zip line. Let the pitons and sulfate yeah. down below. So watch over the panoramic kit. Oh, yeah. It's only a basket of pink. Oh, you saw it. So we're at the volcano at Solfre, right? Yes. Yeah. Sulfur. I wonder why they call it Solfre. Hmm. Not because of sulfur. Why was that? Breathe the air in your hands. <laughs> That's not gonna help. Because it's, it's sulfur. Helping. It's definitely helping. I like it's smell. a bigger difference. About ready to take a tour of this volcano. Called Mount Lassen. That I haven't been to. Haven't been Mount Lassen. Uh, Lassen. You heard Lassen. it right. Mount Lassen. Lassen. I will put some hair in. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I would have. Uh, well, Mount Saint Helen, Yellowstone, right. and ours is smaller than that. It's, yeah, it's little. Okay. It's between those two, actually. It's, it's, what, dormant, what? It is not dormant. It's like this, actually. Yeah, it's a lot like this. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So um. From the moment you have arrived in Sofra, Sofra is this town. Whether you come by land or you come by sea, you have already entered into the crater or the volcano. So this means that the entire town of Sofra is in the crater. That is about 12 kilometers square. Now usually when people come here or they hear volcano, they picture a mountain. You hike to the top, you see lava. This was the concept of this volcano in the past. But about 40,000 years ago, there was a huge eruption. So the top of the mountain blew off, the remains collapsed inside. So this is what's left. It's called a caldera, like in the US, Yellowstone National Park. The last eruption took place right here in the year 1766. There was no lava, rocks and steam. Now the smell you have been welcomed by, don't be mistaken. That is not my body odor, nor my perfume. <laughs> it's a gas in the atmosphere called the hydrogen sulfide, H2S sulfur. At the moment, the gas is very low in concentration. That's why it smells like rotten eggs. But at very high concentration, the gas becomes odorless, toxic, and it takes away oxygen. So in other words, the more you smell it, the safer and the better. If you don't smell that, that is bad. So go ahead, inhale, exhale as normal. Now scientists are saying that the volcano can erupt again, but hopefully not today. <laughs> but if you see me running, don't ask if I'm crazy, you follow. <laughs> but the good thing about it, months before, there are warnings, like frequent earthquakes, increasing temperature, animals move away, and lastly the smell would disappear. But we do have seven seismographs or monitors on the island. So every day they monitor the activity in Trinidad. 
and scientists come here twice for the year. So we are doing okay. But like I said, I run, you follow. <laughs> now the water flowing from the top, that is coming from the forest. The water is cold. But as the water goes through the volcano, it becomes very warm. Temperature in the pool of hair is about 30 degrees Celsius, 86 Fahrenheit. So that's very nice and warm right here. And this wall over here is the remains of a mineral bath. It was built in the year 1902. The water is coming from underground hot springs at about 45 Celsius, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. That is like coffee or tea temperature. But the water is not good for drinking. It's very high in iron oxide. On the wall, you can see the rust. You drink the water, it would cause constipation. Too much would cause brain damage. Vacation, constipation, bad combination. <laughs> so you drink rum instead. <laughs> Any questions so far? No. Yes, yeah, so we continue. Yeah, no, it does. Okay, so um, right now we are in the center of the crater. So the Conchip Mountain was basically about here. And this is the only place in St. Lucia where you see this activity. It's been like this for 250 years, that is since the last eruption. Now inside of here, those pools, you see here, there are about 24 of them. What you see inside is not lava, mud, water. The water 100 Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit, so that's boiling. The steam is about 171 Celsius. 340 Fahrenheit. Wow. So if any of you fall inside, Dead. barbecue bag. <laughs> now before it was possible to walk inside of here because there was a bridge. So you would walk in, boil your eggs, potatoes, do photos. But in the year 1985, there was an accident. Gabriel, a tour guide, was touring a group of seven German tourists. And he was jumping on the crest unaware the ground was very soft the ground gave way gabriel fell up to the waist mm. he got second degree burns waist down Ooh. he spent about six weeks at the hospital so luckily gabriel survived not paralyzed he also had two children after so you know it still works <laughs> and since after just scientists are allowed to go inside now Gabriel is famous because he has a hole named after him. This one with the rock and close to us, this is Gabriel. So is that where he very fell? small, yes, but over the years the hole has grown bigger. Now the colors here, minerals, the greenish yellow, sulfur, the white calcium, brown iron oxide. We have no gold here, no diamonds. 
<laughs> Scientists are saying that the volcano is too long, so hopefully in the future. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sticking to you guys. I would be digging for gold or <laughs> private yacht somewhere within the life. <laughs> now the bath is done to the bottom. The brown hut on the right, you go down the steps. It's like a jacuzzi or going to the spa for a mud rock. Very therapeutic, good for arthritis. Rheumatism, also for skin conditions. So after the bath, you look and feel 10 years younger. That is why I am 82 years and I look so very young. <laughs> La Soufrie is the name of the volcano, just like the town. It means sulfur in the atmosphere. The pitons you saw on the way here, they're not volcanoes, lava domes. So lava or magma pushed up to the surface and it became solid. And if you were to walk up further or drive up, it goes to a small village. About 80 people live there at zero. They plant fruits, vegetables, because the soil is very fertile. The people also enjoy baths around the area and the vendors who sell the souvenir, the arts and crafts, they live in the community. Any questions? <laughs> Have you seen the cashew nut tree before? The cashew? Oh. If you look up, you will see the fruit. It looks like a bell pepper. It's edible, can be used to make jelly, also when fermented, wine. The bottom part, very acidic so you don't bite. If you bite, your entire mouth would be blistered. It contains Ooh. cyanic acid. So therefore you sun dry, you roast, crack open, you have one nut. So one fruit, one nut, one tree, about 10 to 20 pounds of nuts per year. Hence the reason why cashew nut is very expensive. Any questions? Well, I guess I was clear. <laughs> well, if you have no questions, you've had enough photos, enough of the wonderful smell. <laughs> we shall be heading back to the top where I'll be ending the tour with you. Watch your steps as you go down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 have some fun. It's not every day you're in St. Louis. Come on, bud. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on top of here and let's take it out. You have just been baptized, Molly. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey guys, uh -huh. hey, where are you at? St. Lucia. And what are you about to do? That thing. <laughs> Power shower. Power shower. I like that. You don't need folders in your cup when you wake up to this one. <laughs> Drink it. Guaranteed to wake up. Oh, God, that's cold. <laughs> I was tired before this. Yeah! No, no! <laughs> So right down there is our cruise ship, the Carnival Fascination. Overlooking the harbor. And what what is the name of this harbor? Castries Harbor. Castries Harbor. Right Castries. now you're standing on Mount Fortune. Overlooking the harbor. We're standing on Mount Fortune. Mount Fortune. Fortune Mountain. Yeah. Ah. Mount Fortune. Mount Fortune. That is beautiful. Let's zoom in a little bit. Maybe. Go. 
So yeah, that's Castries. Say it for me. I know we were looking at Castries Harbour. Castries. Standing right up to 140. Yes. Now this is the north of the island. That's where you get the beautiful beaches, the hotels. Okay. Yeah. North of the island. Yeah. Now you see this this mountain you see no overlooking the horizon. Oh Mart yes. Martinique French Island. Oh, oh, that's Martinique. It's right, it's right yeah. there. Wow, that's close. Do you guys have ferries that go over there? Yeah, we have a ferry. That's really close. Wow, amazing place. So I'm standing in the duty free zone right now and I'm waiting for a taxi driver, Batiste, because um, Mr. Slack, Mr. Dennis Slack, dropped his wallet in the taxi. He can't get back on the ship. So it looks like either my wonderful taxi driver, Batiste, is gonna come and drop that back off to us, or Dennis and I are finding an alternate way to get to the, <laughs> get to the island. I just wanna say that this is Batiste, and he just walked about I don't know, half a mile and drove all the way back to give me Dennis's wallet. If you want to know, if you want to know an honest person, Baptiste is it. If you come to St. Lucia, make sure you look Baptiste up. Baptiste, okay? And I'll have all the links down below. Thank you so much. In sensational dining room. The carnival fascination. It's a formal one. Okay, everybody, who's this guy right here? Dennis. Dennis. And what did he do today? In where? St. Lucia. In what? The taxi. And what did I have to do to get him back? Run a mile with the cabbie. I would have ran with you, but you broke the buddy system. I did. Once again, make some noise for your playlist performance tonight. What I'm making is that's what I got right now. Thank you so much. Don't forget to ask me about it. Get me to call.